What's going on everyone? Welcome to Lancaster Unboxing. Kind of unboxing today. I kind of already cheated and unboxed it a little while ago because I had to use this and I didn't want to like rebox it up or anything. So today's kind of more of a demo review video on the D-Cut Aerosaw. This Aerosaw I'm actually super impressed with. Um, so today we're going to go over all of the features, why it might be a good idea to have an Aerosaw because it's kind of like a thing that you don't think about, you know, for the average bow hunter target shooter. You just go to a pro shop and get them cut, but it's a good gateway to working on your own um, arrows, your own equipment and everything. And it's not that bad of a price to get this. So we're going to dive in, go through some of these features and cut some arrows with it. Okay, so diving into this D-Cut Arrow Saw. I've never owned an Arrow Saw before and I've always like gone to a pro shop or had to like go somewhere to go get my arrows cut. And it was a pain in the butt because whenever you get new arrows, hunting arrows, target arrows, indoor arrows, whatever they are, you always need them cut. And then also having an Arrow Saw, you can kind of like mess with links super easy. So I was super pumped that I got to mess around with this arrow saw. So starting out, what I really liked about this arrow saw was just the adjustability and the size of it. So starting out, it's super short, like it fits nicely on pretty much any type workbench, work area, and you can put it away to store it. So huge fan of that. Some of them are like really big and bulky. Next is this adjustability. You can literally have it for a full length shaft to bring it all the way down to use size arrow and it locks down and it has these little arrow indicators um, so you can kind of like mark your spot and stuff which I really really like. Next there's actually a micro adjustment on the knock end that actually is like super smooth I was surprised that they actually had this in there because I've never seen one like this they're standard most of the time that's just like that's it that's what you get with and sometimes there's like a crank wrench but micro adjust and just a really awesome cool touch on that. So you do your big adjustments, lock down, micro adjustments. So next on like the cutting side of things, again, it's like super small. I really dig this saw, just like how it's built and everything. But anyways, on this side of things, we have a micro adjust for the cutting diameter, I guess you could say. So it's actually this piece right here goes in and out against the saw blade. So you can just mess with the thickness and this, you know, I don't know if this is like super, super vital, but it is kind of nice because some arrows, um, the, the diameter, the wall thickness is different and you don't really want to cut farther than like the diameter of the wall. So let's say you have like a Easton X10 where there's like aluminum and carbon, that wall is a little bit thicker than like a standard thin hunting arrow carbon wall. So you can adjust that a little bit. Um, just a cool little touch on that. So the actual cutting mechanism right here is actually replaceable. So I don't know if, if you'll ever actually wear this thing down unless you're like a pro shop or whatever, but a simple Allen wrench, this comes out and it actually comes with a replacement blade. Um, I think that's super easy. I really don't want to take it apart because I don't want to have to put it together, but it looks like it's super easy to replace that blade. The back side of it also is pretty simple. There's these rubber little knobs on here so it sits super flat on the table and it does not move if you have like a good surface on there. So really, I really like the saw. What also is cool about this is instead of like a flick switch or anything, there's actually a foot pedal. So on the back side of the saw, you just plug it in right there, plug it into a wall outlet and it's way long enough you can just put the foot pedal on the ground then you just step on it and it goes. So that's pretty much it. Super simple system, super adjustable on the knock end, on the diameter that the blade cuts in the arrow and on the actual arrow length. Um, one thing that 
it's not a disadvantage at all, but I've marked my spots on here before, like with a little pencil mark, but I forgot that if you micro adjust this, those marks really don't mean anything. So if you wanna like mark your spots on here, I recommend either like locking that down or not moving that, and then you can remember where you cut all of your arrows or marking that, some sort of the other, but if you move both of them at the same time, you really can't mark anything like that. So a couple tips and tricks with cutting your arrows. Number one is to figure out which way your blade is actually turning. And then this is actually a Jesse Brawlwater pro tip. You're gonna want to spin the arrow against the way that it's going. So like, let's say it's going counterclockwise or clockwise, however way that is. You don't wanna be like spinning with it. You wanna be spinning against it. Now, I don't really know why he said that, but he said that and he's like a 30 time world champion. So I'm gonna kind of stick with that. Trick number two, instead of using the actual knock to spin on where the knock is supposed to go, because if you see, when you put the knock in the spot and spin it, you can see how much movement there is. And on the cutting end, it's just not gonna be as precise. So a tip, is to take your knock off and then take a field tip or the tip you're gonna glue in and actually put it on the knock end. And now when you spin it, it makes a perfect circle or at least a better circle, as good of a circle that you can make. So I should also mention, it doesn't matter what kind of arrow it is, this saw works on aluminum, carbon, and the hybrid carbon aluminum arrows. So that is pretty much the full review of this X-Spot Aero Saw by D-Cut. Super awesome, high quality. Really, not too many complaints. The only complaint is like you can't judge these numbers 100% because of this micro adjustment on the knock end. But other than that, super awesome. And what I really like now that I have an Aero Saw is I can really fine tune my arrow setup. And what I'll do is I'll cut depending on you know hunting arrows, indoor, target, um, different bows, different poundages, you actually can cut your arrows at different lengths. So let's see, I have three arrows that I set up at like 29 and a half inches long with X amount of weight in front. Then I set up another three arrows at a different length or different weight. And you can really fine tune your arrow setup by having a little bit different um, arrow lengths. And what that also does is it adjusts your spine of the arrow. So if your spine paper tune reads a little weak or some other tuning reads a little weak, you can actually cut the arrow a little bit and it'll make it stiffer. The only thing is, is you can't add back once you cut an arrow, so don't go too crazy. Make sure to check out this arrow saw and other products from Lancaster Archery over on my Pro Picks page. Make sure to check everything out at Lancaster Archery. I know they have um, a bunch of deals going on all the time. So make sure to subscribe to their newsletter and stay on top of things there. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will catch you guys next time.